I'm Linnea, and I just wanted to take a minute and introduce myself and tell you a little bit about why I've decided to start this channel. Um, it actually started a couple weeks ago. I was out in my backyard with one of my friends, and she was kind of picking my brain about gardening and what to do with what you grow and, and all those things, and it, it like became this conversation about how on social media you, you scroll and you see all these accounts with the most perfect garden or the most perfect homestead with the perfect chickens and people have, that have a milk cow and they have their own fresh milk and they make their own fresh cheese from that milk and um, you know all those things and that is perfectly fine if if you have the most perfect garden I envy you because I don't have the most perfect garden I don't have a cow I don't have chickens I live in the suburbs and that's why I decided to name my channel channel suburban semi homestead because that's exactly what I've created in my backyard essentially I have six garden beds and in those garden beds, I've got garlic, onions, herbs, shallots, radishes, carrots, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, green beans, ground cherries, grapes, that's new, um, in all of those beds. And I have been able to produce enough tomatoes to dice and can, to can them whole, to use in soups. To make salsa for a year, I cannot tell you the last time that I made, made, I can tell you the last time I made salsa, it was last summer, um, but I can tell, I can't tell you the last time that I bought salsa from the grocery store. I can't tell you the last time I bought pickles from the grocery store because I'm able to grow it in my backyard and I'm able to grow enough. And my goal on this channel is to show you that if you have two or three or four or five garden beds, that's enough. I promise you that's enough. And we will learn how to dehydrate, to can, to cook different recipes with what you preserve. That's my goal of this channel. My goal of this channel is to make you feel good about what you have. Um, to make you not feel like you're not good enough because you don't have 16 garden beds or you don't have five chickens out back that lay a bunch of eggs or you have to go to the grocery store just like I do. That's okay. It's okay that we live in the suburbs, that it's not feasible for us to buy land and spend a bunch of money and a bunch of time on animals and growing a garden and if that's what you have that's awesome I am NOT putting you down at all that's awesome but I'm here to that's my dog in the background um I'm here to show you that if you have a normal backyard with a couple garden beds we can preserve and that is my goal so I invite you to come along on this journey to learn with me, to grow with me, to cook with me, to bake with me while I learn in the process. Um, I think it will be fun. I think it will be a really good time. So with that being said, let's go out back and check out the garden. The Calvin. Okay, so we just built this arbor out of scrap wood. These are the grapes that we planted last year. Um, we'll see how it does. And then these are flowers with weeds. Keeping it real. We are keeping it real here. These are onions that I planted, mm, I think in March, along with more weeds. Like I said, we're keeping it real. This is all of the garlic that I planted last October. Uh, Let's see. We got some scapes going on, so definitely some garlic scape pesto is in order. Um, this is my parsley with my weeds. And we've got carrots, radishes. And here we have two full beds of tomatoes. And I know that they're planted 
really close together, but I will show you guys how I get enough salsa for a year because of this. This is this is my method. It's called chaos. Not really. <laughs> I mean, I guess yeah. It's called chaos. Uh, and this is where I plant in my dill. We've got more tomatoes. We've got a cucumber plant there. More tomatoes. I and like I said, I will go in a more in-depth uh, tour of this garden and tell you all the different varieties that I'm growing this year. Um, but for right now, I'm just kind of showing you the beds. Uh, this bed, I have decided to call my Italian bed and I planted four Amish paste tomato plants in order, hopefully, to get enough tomatoes to make pasta sauce for at least a couple months. So that's, this is kind of my experiment along with some green beans. I, I had to, I had to, because I, I'm a chaos gardener. I just kind of cram things places. Um, but yeah, like I said, these are all Amish paste tomatoes. My goal is to be able to get enough tomatoes to make, I don't know, maybe six or seven, eight pints of, of uh, pasta sauce. And then these are all of the peppers I grow. Like I said before, we will go much more in depth on a different tour, but I'm just showing you guys my, my nice simple beds. And then if we, if we go up here, <clears throat> I don't really do much with this garden bed. It was here when we bought the house. It There's just a ton of weeds in it. That's why we had to mulch it. But we did build this out of just, I think it was scrap wood that was left in the shed uh, when we moved in. Um, and it's what I trellis my cucumbers on. Um, I know, <laughs> it's like a lot of cucumbers for this, but it worked last year and the year before, so um, we're gonna go with it. And then this is my blueberry bush that has never produced a single blueberry, but she's still here, she's thriving. And then these are my two ground cherry plants that hopefully this year I'm going to try to make a ground cherry pie with maybe some sourdough crust. Uh, and yeah, that is an overview of the garden. It, Like I said, it's not big. Um, we live in the suburbs very clearly. There's a house. There's our house. Um, more houses. So like I said, this is, this is the suburban semi-homestead. And if you guys want to come with me and my dog, <laughs> that's Calvin. He's, he's a good boy. Um, yeah, like I said, if you guys want to come along in my journey and I can teach you guys how to, how to do this. Um, the one last thing I need to show you is where I keep all of my herbs. Um, I did for the first couple years, I tried to, to plant herbs in the beds and it just got too hot. There's just too much sun, um, heating it up all day long and it, it basically just fried. And then one year I tried to, to keep it under the patio and that didn't work either because still sun. Um, so I will, <laughs> I'm laughing at Calvin. I, uh, will... I'll, I'll show you guys what I finally decided to do with my herbs last year, and, and it was good. So, uh, we're doing more this year. Um, so, anyway, I hope you guys had a really nice time checking out my garden. Definitely more to come, I promise. Um, have, a good, have a good night, day, morning, afternoon. Whatever you guys are having, have a good one. Mm -hmm.